Take a trip down Candy Cane Lane with me It's the cutest thing I swear you'll ever see It's the best Go get dressed All impressed You with the colors of the rainbow Red and yellow and pink and green Orange and purple and blue Christmas is waiting for you Christmas is waiting for you besties how are you welcome to my diy channel and if you happen to be here for the first time my name is kathy this is my puppy coco and it's my diy we do a lot of great projects on a budget here so if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos and in today's video we are so excited to share with you candy cane lane DIYs inspired by this adorable sign from the Dollar Tree. How cute is that? Christmas wouldn't be complete without candy canes, right? <laughs> so let's get started and do some fun DIYs. First, we are going to make a swag wreath out of two Dollar Tree trees. And we had made one like that before out of the white trees. I don't know if you've seen this video. We made a candy length wreath on a budget with the most adorable sweets and the ice cream and gingies, beautiful pastel colors, soft pinks and blues, touch of silver and gold. It was just the cutest thing ever. You can never tell it was made on a budget. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. And then I had a special request to make the same type of wreath with just red and white. And it came out adorable too. Exact same technique. So here you can see just changing up the colors gives you a totally different look. So today we're going to use two green trees, the Dollar Tree sign, and the coordinating ornaments. You know I love these red and whites from the Dollar Tree. I use it for everything. Also, if you can find some candy canes. And also Walmart has a great selection of ornaments for just a dollar and two. Like these adorable elf feet. Oh my goodness, I was so happy to see them because as you know, I have the elf feet in my tree. So this will be just perfect. <laughs> And in addition, you're going to need some color coordinating Christmas picks. So Dollar Tree has a great selection. Also, it's worth checking other discount stores. In addition, we're going to use some deco mesh, 10 inch wide. Well, we're going to use about half a roll. And of course, ribbons, whatever ribbons you have. I have some left over here, my ribbon from BJ's. I use that on my tree, as well as some candy cane and other red ribbon. So first we're going to open up our trees and I don't know what it is. My daughter just loves doing that. She just helped me put up the big tree. And uh, next we're going to put the two little trees together just like that. We're going to uh, put the branches to the left and to the right and connect them in the middle with the two zip ties. So that way we're going to achieve that teardrop shape. It's going to be a perfect base for just $2. Can't go wrong with that, right? <laughs> and next, we're going to use just a pipe cleaner or a wire. Attach it in the back to create a little hanger. Next, we're going to cut the deco mesh. And you had seen my sophisticated tool, right? 10 by 10 cardboard. We're going to cut pieces 10 by 20 inches long. Next, we are going to make cruffles, which is a combination of a curl and raffle. You roll up uh, one end three times, then you switch to the other three times, and you walk your fingers across to make a little raffle. Just like that, you get a little cruffle, <laughs> and you attach it to your swag using the pine tips, just like so. All right, let's make another one. Roll up one end about three, four times, clip it, turn it around, one, two, three times, walk your fingers, and there is your cruffle. Twist tie it right there, and go ahead, repeat the same steps all around the swag. Look how full our swag looks. I think I need one more at the tip there. 
All right, this is perfect now and you can see how nice and full and also colorful it is already. And next, we're going to add our sign with a lot of hot glue. And as you can see, I tilted it a little bit so we could see that nice print on the sides of the sign. Next, we will make a pretty simple bow with the four loops and two tails. Loops about seven inches long and uh, the tails about 12 inches. We will tie it with a pipe cleaner and then we will make a second layer on top of it. This time we will make three loops, six inches long and the tails about 11 inches, just a bit smaller and attach it on top of existing bow. And the third bow is gonna be the smallest with just two loops, two tails, and we're gonna attach it in the middle and curl up those ends. And then you trim the ends and there you go. Pretty simple bow, pretty and simple. <laughs> We're gonna tie this bow down just below the sign. And then you can fluff up all the ends, so you can curl them, bend them, whatever you like. And then you're going to cut four additional tails, 12 inches long, and we're gonna attach them in sets of two around the swag. Uh, just like this, we're gonna fold it in half, find the midpoint, pinch it, make like a V shape, and then attach it with the uh, pine bristles. Okay, so we got one top corner done, and now we're gonna do another one in the opposite corner, and then we're gonna do two in the middle on both sides. All right, so we got the ribbons all around the swag. Now we are going to add the cedar picks in each corner and also at the tip at the bottom. All right, let's add those cute little elf feet. And I also wanna add an elf hat, so why not use that Dollar Tree headband? It's a perfect little hat right there. And I just don't like the sequence. So I'm gonna use the stripes that came with the headband. I'm gonna wrap it around and also cover the rest with some red felt that I had on hand. And we're gonna attach it with some hot glue at the bottom. And then you add any other ornaments that you might have. Let me hang this wreath so you can see it better. Next, I'm going to add the candy canes all around the sign. So sorry about the camera. Next, I'm cutting apart the pigs and I'm gonna add them throughout the wreath so for some extra color. And once you like where everything is positioned, you're gonna take hot glue and attach everything. I also have some holes on the sides, so I'm gonna add the bubbles there. And for the final touch, I'm gonna split apart this spray and I'm just gonna add a little bit here and there. It adds a lot of movement to the reef, but it's a bit too long, so I'm just gonna trim those tips. And then I wind up attaching them around the sign over there for just for a small touch of white. <laughs> And just like that, we got the Candy Cane Lane Reef.
Next, I'm very excited to share with you a Christmas signpost DIY. If you wanted to buy one at Target or Kohl's or Home Depot, you would have to spend over $100, but I'm gonna show you how to make one so inexpensively out of Dollar Tree items. You're gonna need a pool noodle, and Dollar Tree now sells Christmas color pool noodles in red, white, and green. Also, you're gonna need those arrow plaques uh, that Dollar Tree sells for a dollar. They don't have to be exact same size. You can also cut them out of the cardboard. And I just remember I have this arrow marquee. They used to actually sell the marquee letters. Well, I didn't get so lucky. When I got there, they had only arrows left over. Well, now the arrow is gonna come useful. <laughs> Hopefully you can find one of these. They've been lying around my store for weeks now. Nobody buys them. <laughs> also, you're gonna need some duct tape and uh, Dollar Tree sells like four colors, I think. Also, I'll be using a piece of scrap wood for the base. If you don't have one, you can get a wooden plaque at a Dollar Tree. And I recommend using Gorilla Glue Sticks for this project, they're stronger. Also, just a few pins. And I'll be using a letter stencil from the Dollar Tree. You can uh, use the letter stickers instead, whatever you prefer. And if you are wondering where is Coco today? Well, the princess is getting her beauty rest. Look at her, <laughs> so comfortable sleeping here on the couch, enjoying the Christmas tree lights, huh? <laughs> So first I'm going to cut my pool noodle to size, it's a bit too long. And then I'm going to wrap it around with the duct tape. And oh my goodness, that looks so sweet already, like a lollipop, right? <laughs> Next we're going to paint our base black. And then I'm going to paint my arrows red. Of course you can paint red and green, whatever works with your color scheme, okay? And if you get the marquee arrow, you're gonna have to put it together. Well, I have a little helper who figured it out. You put in the light bulbs and the string of lights, the battery pack, and boom, it works. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna use the stencil to make my signs like Santa's Workshop, Mrs. Claus Bakery. And if you are a perfectionist, uh, just close one eye, okay? <laughs> because this is far from perfect, but yet again, it doesn't have to be. I think uh, the whole beauty of it is that it shows that it's handmade and has that vintage uh, distressed look. Um, I really think it's, it came out cute. And if I could give you any tips, uh, you use less paint so it doesn't leak. Uh, let one row dry and work on the other side in the meantime. Um, also, you know, you can wipe things off and touch up with your background paint if you have to. So really not a big deal. Go for it. It's so much fun, really. And the best part is that you can make any signs that speak to you. You know, Mrs. Close Bakery is so important for me because I don't know if you know, because your bestie turns into Mrs. Close at this time of the year. Hello, my besties. <laughs> Feel free to check out this video for all the sweet treats she makes. <laughs> Once my signs are dry, I dry brush them a little bit with white and then I sprinkle them with the glitter. And look how amazing and delicious they look now, right? <laughs> Next, to add stability to my post, I'm gonna use an old flower stem that I saved. Another option would be to use one of those long s'more sticks. Sometimes you can get them at a Dollar Tree. I'm going to drill a hole to insert that stick, but first I'm gonna mark it with some electrical tape how deep, because I don't wanna drill a hole in my table. <laughs> All right, let me see a little bit more. And I think this is good enough. Yep, we're just gonna add some hot glue and we're gonna leave it in there to dry. Next, we are going to attach our arrows to the post. We're using the Gorilla Glue Sticks. And I'm adding a little pin at the bottom of each arrow because I feel like it's adding a little bit extra support. <laughs> Finally, we add glue at the bottom of the pool noodle and insert it on the top of the stick. And ta-da! Here is our post sign. <laughs> How cute is that? All we need is a cherry on the top. How about that LED ball ornament? 
we can actually light it up and it's a perfect fit on the top of the pool noodle. Look at that. How adorable. Can you believe that? We made this out of Dollar Tree items. And wait until I switch on the arrow too. Wow. So cute, huh? <laughs> Coco, do you like it? <laughs> Right, my besties, did you like that? If you did, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. We have so many more fun crafts coming up and you don't want to miss them. <laughs> All right, see you next time. Bye bye.